Hello, hello, hello! OMG, welcome back to my channel. So excited you're here. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn coming at you with a weekly video, and you get Clarky right in the beginning. In this week's video, I'm going to be taking care of some cleaning, just some basic cleaning that needs to be done, and tackling a couple of just small projects. Kind of an easier week for me, not, not tackling anything big this week. So I was actually filming this right before Easter. If you celebrate Easter, I hope you had a fantastic Easter. And I wanted to get my couch cushion covers washed up before I had guests over for brunch on Easter. With teenagers in the house and a dog, uh, they tend to get a little dirty. So I wash them usually about once a month, sometimes a little bit more, just depending on if Clark was playing in the mud or something like that. If you are new and you just found me, I am so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down in the comment section. I would love to welcome you and say hello to you. And if you are already subscribed, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming back to another video. Definitely leave me a hello down there. I would love to say hello to you. So I brought you a bonus video on last Friday. If you didn't catch that and you like deep cleaning, definitely go and check that out. I deep cleaned a whole bunch of my kitchen last week preparing for um, Easter. And I'm just getting, like I said, some regular cleaning done today. Washing the couch cushion covers, dusting up all of the furniture. I'm going to vacuum just all of the regular maintenance stuff. So in that Friday video, I was talking about, I, I have two teenagers. If you're new to the channel, I actually have three daughters. My oldest daughter is 26. She's married. She's got children. Um, and then I have Viviana, who is 15, and Donna Jean, who is 13. And I was talking about in that video how, uh, you know, they have a whole different language. <laughs> I try to keep up with what all the new phrases and words mean. And um, sometimes my husband will get annoyed with the way they talk and I have to remind him like we had weird sayings as well that our parents thought was weird. And I was told you a couple of them and I was like, tell me yours. Oh my gosh, you guys left me some awesome, awesome comments. There were so many words that we used to use back in the 80s and 90s when I grew up uh, that I forgot about. I just dusted the tops of the pictures. I didn't even film it. Look at all that dust. But ugh, the rag is nice and dirty. That does not even include the mantle because I dusted that separately earlier. and I didn't even film it. OMG, it was a little dusty in here. Every time I dust, I feel like it's not that bad because it hasn't been that long since I've dusted. And it's always dusty. So anyways, uh, I'm going to move on to vacuuming. I love my cordless stick vac. We use it every single day. Um, but when I want a really, really good vacuum, I do pull out my shark at probably about once a week um, because a corded vacuum is just always going to be more powerful than a cordless vacuum. So we're going to take the shark to the family room today. But a couple of the phrases I forgot about that you guys reminded me of in the comments was psych. Oh my gosh, I used to say that all the time. Or grody to the max. So flippin' hilarious. So I just wanted to say thanks for brightening my day and bringing back lots of awesome memories from when I was a teen. Today when I'm filming, it is just over 50 degrees and the sun is bright and beautiful here in Michigan. And it is in the forecast for possible snow this week. I am so done with the dang snow. I want to get outside and I want to get some flowers planted. Oh, I have to be patient. Oh. It's always so hard waiting for spring. Let me know what your weather is like. I know some of y'all are in really, really hot places. Uh, I, I'm not. <laughs> we get pretty, pretty warm in the 
the summer months, uh, July and August, we can get up to a hundred. Uh, but anyways, uh, good thing I pulled out the shark. <laughs> it got a lot of dirt and dust out of the carpet. And my husband does most of the vacuuming in the house, so I really need to clean the filter and everything in here. Uh, and I always check the top too because sometimes some stuff will get stuck up there. Um, he doesn't ever clean the filters. He just doesn't think to do it. So I don't care. I'll clean them. He does the vacuuming. It's a fair trade-off to me. And I did catch the hubs. Uh, I'm almost as he was finished putting one of the couch cushion covers together. So uh, we're going to just go ahead and take a look at him getting these back on. Uh, it takes about, I would say about eight, nine minutes to get them back on, uh, about four minutes to pull them off. And I always just take them outside and shake them off before I throw them in the washing machine. And I got to tell you what he's been doing that's been driving me nuts. Uh, but first I had to tease him a little bit as he was <laughs> putting the couch cushion covers together because I was actually preparing. This was Saturday evening, so I was kind of preparing um, the egg hash brown casserole that I was making. Yeah, Can you hurry it up? I need my phone <laughs> for a recipe. <laughs> Mom, just take your... <laughs> what are you doing to my socks? Stop. That was Viviana telling me, just take your phone. I was just teasing him. Uh, you're going to get to see a little treat here in a minute. Well, it was a treat for me, and I filmed it, so I thought I would share it with you, and then I'll get on to the story of the hubs driving me absolutely crazy. Well, you got to wait. You got to wait. You better get it. You better. Oh, I got it. I got it. Go get it. Did you get it? That's the mail. Where'd your family go, sir? Hmm. Oh, there they are. The family's coming back. Oh, the family's looking for him. It's staring at you, Mom. Oh, I looked away. I can't catch it. Can they get, can, can, yeah, see him right there? There they are. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them running. Er Clarky, <laughs> you can't play with the deer. Clarky, you can't play with the deer. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh, look at him. Oh, I need to throw some food back there. No, you don't. Do it. Oh. You want to be like those deer? They're so cute. There's four of them. No, they're cute little white tails. All right, we're going to move into the dining room to get the table cleared off of some things and get this room cleaned up in case we want to use it for Easter. Uh, have you ever bought something that you kind of had an idea for and then all of a sudden you changed your idea? So I was picking this stuff up. I bought this little basket full of faux flowers for something totally different. And as soon as I picked it up, I was like, oh... Why don't you take it outside and put it on the hook you've got outside? That'll look super duper cute. So that's what I did. All right, I bought that for a totally different reason, but I think that looks super cute over there. So there you go. I got to show you guys something super funny. Um, I have four daffodils <laughs> that are in bloom. I think that one might be at the end of its life almost, but... If you were with me when I was planting bulbs, remember I was gonna try to plant some down here because this area actually gets more sunlight. Um, and I just could like, it was so much work to try to get through the ground over here. I must have forgot to pull up a bulb. <laughs> I got one teeny little lonely tulip sprouting here. So I looked outside and I was like, what the heck is that? Oh my gosh, you forgot to pull up a bulb. So there you go. 
Here's a little bit closer of a view. I think it looks just lovely right here. So glad I picked that up and had the idea that quick. So anyways, weren't those deer just absolutely beautiful in the backyard? Uh, we don't see them that often that early uh, when it's still daylight, but they were out there. And did you hear Clarky? Just a whining. That's exactly what he does when I take him to doggy daycare and he goes and plays with some dogs, his dog friends. He will whine as soon as we pull in because he knows where he's at and he wants to play. Oh my gosh, I thought it was so precious. Uh, so anyways, that was a huge treat for me. And you can see I have one daughter that's very much like my husband and one daughter that's very much like me. Did you hear me when, he, when I said I need to put some food out there for them? Viviana said, no, you don't, which is exactly what my husband would say. And Donna Jean goes, do it. <laughs> me and Donna Jean are the animal people. It is actually illegal <clears throat> in Michigan, in certain parts of Michigan, to feed the deer. Uh, more up north you are allowed to, but in this area you are not allowed to feed them. My aunt actually was feeding them. She lives in the same town as I do, and uh, the DNR knocked on her door, <laughs> probably because somebody must have complained, uh, and the neighbor I have behind me is a real, eh, I don't like them at all. They're they're just not very kind people. So I've been refraining from feeding the deer because uh, they would be the ones to complain, but they keep walking through the yard and I want to feed them. All right, so quick story of how the hubs has been driving me absolutely crazy. <laughs> it's not really that big of a deal, but anyways. Uh, you know, I have couch cushion covers on my couches, mainly because my cushions are getting tore up. The couches are old, but they're in good foundation or the foundation of them is good, and I don't want to spend the money on new couches, so couch cushion covers are great. Uh, they change the look. I love them. They're super easy to clean up. He's been, before he goes to bed, he's been putting pillows down on the couch to prevent Clark from climbing up there and getting it dirty. Speaking of, you can hear him in the background vacuuming. I'm just setting up a little teeny display on the dining room table for Easter and spring, and I think it looks super duper cute. So he's been putting the pillows up there so Clark can't jump on the couch. Well, Clark is allowed to get up on the couch, but he doesn't want Clark to get the couches dirty. That's why we have cushion covers on them. <laughs> so, I mean, at what point? Like, you put cushion covers over them so the couch doesn't get dirty. And then what? You put a blanket over the cushion covers so the cushion covers don't get dirty? I always go to bed after him normally. So I just let him put the pillows up there. And then before I go to bed, I move the pillows in case Clarky wants to get up on the couch. That's my husband for you. So I got a couple things on the ground. I actually have a packet of suet that I moved into the dining room because it was like literally freezing in the winter time in the garage. So I moved it indoor. Uh, so I'm going to move that back in the garage now. All right, we're going to do a little bit of planting. And um, just in case... I am taking soil and I boiled water and I'm going to put the boiling water all through the soil before I plant my bulbs in there um, just to kill anything that could potentially be in the soil like fungus gnats or anything like that. It's just kind of a neat hack, but it does make it a little bit more time consuming when you do this uh, because again, I poured boiling water in here. You can see the steam, it's very hot. It took about two hours before it got back down to room temperature. So you can't put anything in the soil until it has cooled down, obviously. So I'm gonna plant some more tulips indoors. I'm hoping for some blooms by Mother's Day. The ones I planted that I was hoping for blooms by Easter, they're growing beautifully, but they are, they are not close to blooming yet. So I think we're about six weeks from, maybe seven weeks from Mother's Day. Maybe I'll have some blooms for Mother's Day. I think I'm gonna do one pot this week and then I'll do another pot next week. In the video I had watched about forcing tulips up in the house, uh, said blooms in about four weeks. And I planted mine on February 29th and I did not have blooms in four weeks. 
my guess is I'm about two weeks out. So regardless, even if I don't get them for a certain specific occasion, it'll be just beautiful to have some tulips in the house. So just like I did, I'm just going to follow the same process that I did with the other ones that I planted. And I'm just going to be treating these as annuals. I probably won't store these in the refrigerator uh, after they have died off. All right, we're going to move on to a couple of fun projects I've been wanting to do. So one of them is I really wanted to replace my kitchen hand towels and dish towels. Not because they're bad, they're not, but a lot of them have like permanent stains on them. I have no just spare rags in the house. And oftentimes Clark will come home from doggy daycare. He goes usually like once a week and he will come home very dirty, especially his paws if they were playing outside. And these are what I usually grab to clean him up. And so they've gotten stained up and they're not like the best quality dish towels anyways. So I'm going to use these to have some spare towels specifically for Clark or any other mess that comes up that I don't want to use nice kitchen towels for. So the girls and I had ran to Target. They wanted to go during spring break to do a little shopping. And so I thought while I'm here, I'm going to look for some new dish towels um, and um, dish rags that I might like and I found some. It's kind of ridiculous how excited I am about these, but I'm really excited about them. They're just so much softer than the other ones and so much better quality. I folded them in two separate ways. I really liked this method better, um, but they just would not fit in the drawer. So the longer ones folded just once versus folding them just twice is what I'm going to have to do to fit them in the drawer. And so I was unfolding and refolding these ones. And then I started thinking to myself, I really, the folding method of like rolling, depending on the area that you're putting them in, really can be a space saver. And these were just kind of jam-packed in. I bought 10 dish towels in eight um, dish rags. And so I thought, let me try folding them rolled up. The only problem is my husband does about 95% of our laundry. And it is going to confuse the heck out of him <laughs> if I try to fold these rolled up like this. It doesn't work in every space. But I thought, let me try it in this space. And it definitely looks nicer, but it actually fits the towels in there better, which is the main goal. So I'm going to roll these and what's going to happen is either my husband's going to leave them on the counter so that I can fold them the way I want after he does the laundry. <laughs> or they're just going to get put back in there folded up square. Uh, either way, I was just having fun with my new dish rags and dish towels. Uh, so I thought maybe I should try it with the washcloths too. <laughs> so I'm just going to roll them all up. It's probably not going to end up staying this way. But for right now, it just made them fit all nice. And they look so darn pretty in here. There was a time when I would get excited about a new outfit or a new purse or going out with friends. And now I get excited about dish towels, watching my birds and growing flowers. <laughs> I love it. It looks just lovely. And now we're going to move over to this drawer. This drawer holds all of my baggies. I have a little organizer which keeps everything all organized and I love it. And then the second part of this drawer holds our candy stash. And well, it's gotten totally out of control because the girls have just thrown stuff in here from like their Halloween candy and stuff like that. And when I really like stuck my hand in there, I could not believe how many teeny little pieces there were in here. There were like just random Skittles in here. And there was some like, individually wrapped pieces of chocolate that were 
bad. You could just see by the color of the chocolate. Chocolate is disgusting once it expires. So I'm going to go through here and get all the little pieces out that are bad or just random little one piece candies and do a little bit of organizing in here to see if we can't get this uh, situation looking a little better and keep it a little more organized. Now, I don't think I've asked you yet, but I would love to hear what you have going on this week. Are you working on any projects? Are you working outside? Still working on any spring cleaning? I got lots of spring cleaning left to do. Anyways, feel free to share anything going on in your life down in the comments. I would love to hear it. I would love to cheer you on with whatever you are working on. We are getting close to wrapping up this video, so thank you so, so much for spending some time with me today. I truly appreciate you choosing to spend your time with me. It means the world. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, I'm just getting everything cleaned out here, and then we'll get everything back in. One reason why I think this space tends to often get unorganized is because I don't have any containers or anything to hold the candy that we put in here. And containers definitely do really help to keep things more organized. Now, this is, um, like I said, my baggy organizer. It's I love it so much. It's like the bare bones base model. I'll link anything I can link in the description box. Um, it doesn't open from the sides or the top or the bottom. Uh, and it has just four spaces, which is perfect for me. You can get ones that have more spaces. Uh, I would maybe want one that had five for my freezer bags, but I don't use freezer bags all that often. So I just keep those right in the box and store them right behind like that. Now, while we were at Target, uh, I went down an aisle and I saw these bins. And I wish I would have thought that I might look for those at Target because then maybe I would have done some measurements. I really kind of wish I would have got the taller, smaller ones. I wish I would have got three of those, but I just wasn't sure what would fit in this space. So whenever I run back to Target, if they still have them, I might grab a couple more of them. They were very reasonably priced. I think like $3 maybe. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to get these washed up. I'm taking all the stickers off, washing them, and then we're going to put them in the drawers. We're just going to use these two because that's what I have right now and organize the candy so it's not just scattered all over. One place I do love for organization items is Dollar Tree because they're so cheap. However, sometimes the organizers are also very flimsy and cheap. These were really, really high quality compared to the ones that I have from Dollar Tree. So that's why I will look for those next time I go to Target. And I think another reason this space gets a little unorganized is because like if I buy, like I recently bought a bag of Werther's Caramels and once the bag was getting low, I just throw the extras in there, but they're just getting buried by anybody else throwing extras in there. So I think these organizing bins will help a ton. All right, we gotta take a look at some before and afters and then we're gonna do a little flower update. Uh, so this is what this drawer looked like before, just a hot mess on the candy side. And now it is nice and organized. I love it. All right, we're going to take a look at the Snapdragon seeds that I planted. All right, I haven't put this down in the basement yet, but I am going to because that one is doing so well. So I'll just follow the same process. I think it's been about a week now. So I just wanted to show you, I hope I'm just not seeing things or that this isn't something weird. Um, I'm gonna have to try to get, let's see, hang on. Hang this one. <laughs> look, look at, oh geez. When I look through the camera, I can see even more green than I can see with my naked eye on that one. I think I got some germination happening on the snapdragons uh, in a few of the cells. 
And I don't know if these are all separate. Remember, I had a heck of a time with the seeds because they're so small. Uh, I think I got some germination happening. OMG, I'm so excited. Not in every cell as of yet, but it said they take seven to 15 days to germinate. So I think I'm only seeing it. Here's another one. I don't know if that's one plant or five. <laughs> I knew there was a possibility I could end up with some cells that just did not have um, seeds in it. Here's another little baby one. Uh, so anyways, that's very promising. Very excited about that. All right, we're going to close the video out. I brought these Snapdragons outside. It's actually Monday. It's a beautiful day. It's a little over 50. The sun is shining bright. So I'm going to give, I've been doing this anytime it's fairly warm, just leaving them out here for a couple hours to get some really bright sunlight. I noticed that because I marked which ones um, and I really want the tall deluxe. I'm going to be grateful no matter what grows, but the cherry twists are the ones that are germinating more than the tall deluxe. Um, now I can't even see it. So sunny out here. I think I only had, there's one. I think there was two cells of the tall deluxe, maybe just one. Anyways, I took a couple more seeds and I, <laughs> I popped them in. Um, it makes sense I did the Tall Deluxe first and was really having trouble with those seeds. And then kind of got my groove a little bit over here. So it makes sense to me that these ones are germinating a little bit better than these ones. Uh, so I don't know. I just added a few more seeds into some of the cells. So maybe we'll get some more germination. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Just catching up on a few things. Got some cleaning done. Uh, got a little bit of organizing done in the kitchen. Um, and I felt like it was a nice productive but not like overwhelming week. So I hope it inspired you to tackle something in your house. And I'm going to see you again next week. I hope you have a great day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Bye.